Today we're making the Americano, of which we are both. It's a great cocktail, kind of like the Negroni, a little lighter, sparkly, without the gin kick. You're gonna love it. Welcome to Caught Man Cocktails, I'm your host, Derek Schober, that's Ian Andrews. We took it down! Because today we're making a the classic Americano. style cocktail, the Americano, produced by Plan Sweeb. Oh, yeah. Sweeby. Plan Sweeby. We'll call you Sweeb E. <laughs> Is it going to be in the end? B. Sweeb B. Sweeb B. It's all about the pronunciation, the capitalization. Right. So Submitter. Trying, trying to get that right. It's me. This cocktail has two ounces of Campari, two ounces of sweet vermouth, and a splash of club soda to your tasting. Sounds like a Negroni lacking the gin to me. I would say it is, but there's no club soda in the Negroni, right? Nope. So it's also adding. Unless you do the Negroni Spagliano, which has like Prosecco or something in it. That's not a Negroni. Nope. Oh. We're going to top this one. Yeah. But we can get the pour all happening right on the, yeah. right on the can. Is that wrong? It better be. <laughs> Splash. That's splashish. More than that? <laughs> well, I don't know. This is, like fill the whole yeah, thing up. Can, can, can we make it so we need a tall glass? Um, yeah, that's probably. We splash it. I, I see the. I see I the. What's up with this Q soda? But there's like sticky stuff all over the bottom. Because it's in here. No, I know. Because it's in here. Look, that entire thing is full of simple syrups. Not all of the caps are on tight. This is the theory. This is all, all right. theory. This is all like awesome theory. A good stories to tell at the bar. But that Americans like this cocktail so much that the Italians called it the Americano. Yeah. Um, it was introduced by uh, Gaspar Campari, uh, Gaspar Campari's bar, Cafe Campari, which would be a ultimately great place. If I get poked, I will drop this. And a great place to display the cocktail would be at a place called Campari. Yeah. So it is also a uh, thought that because the word That's Amaro nice. <laughs> meant bitter, that Amaro and Americano can come to get together that way. So that's the second way that people came up with that. We're bitter. I kind of like the spritziness of this. It is also the first drink ordered by James Bond in the novel uh, by Ian Fleming called Casino Royale. Oh, really? Yeah. I think the best person right? That is his drink. That's good. It's, it's, it's definitely bitter, but the sweet vermouth plays really well in it. The club soda gives it some nice effervescence, nice, uh, nice refreshing quality to it. No, that, I agree. Yeah. That's well, a, I agree with some of what you said. That's a very good cocktail. Uh, the club soda in this drink brings down some of the intensity of the Campari. It does. It gives it a lighter flavor. It also curbs some of the vermouth fortified wine taste. Yes. It tastes more like a, I think, a cocktail with a bitter should taste. Like it's a Definitely. bitter. This is a bitter for all intents and purpose. Bitter. Yes. If you said, I need something that calls for bitters. Not for all intents and purposes. All Either way, purposes. whatever you want to use for your wording. Um, the right way, the wrong way, I've used no, both. You did it right. Oh, yeah, just I know, but fun of the people that don't. I've already been made fun of for I'm doing it on the show before, so. Oh, yeah. um, so I called it out nice and long. So people know. Um, you could use that as a bitter that calls for bitters, just a dash of it. But you need it as a liquor. We haven't asked any questions today! We haven't. What's your favorite James Bond movie? Yeah! And what is this thing you misspell the most? Or, what is the phrase you've that you used misuse the most. that you misuse? Yeah. Go to facebook.com slash cocktail TV, like the page, and get notified when shit is happening. That's right. If you like the show, sure, and you're scary. like, I don't want to donate, I don't have money. Knows. I'm, a, I'm in a, I, I, I'm a strap for cash. I don't know how I could possibly help you, Derek. There's a share button. Put it on your fucking timeline. If you have more than one friend, you have more people that haven't seen the show. Possibly, unless you... Unless yeah, all your friends are shows show. of this, and then you've already done the job, so you at that, pat yourself on the back. Straighten up those thoughts. We're teaching you how to drink. You know what this drink needs? Jose Cuervo. <laughs> wow, 